It's great when the youth of black youth of America will respond to a bad version of a TV Stevie Wonder song. <laughs> that was great. I mean, that was I that so. was like out of the air. Yeah, I just uh, I haven't played that in the dog's age, and uh, it's off of an album uh, that I recorded of uh, called Angels Castles Covers, and it's an album of uh, cover tunes that. Uh, that I decided I'd put together. And I got pins up in my pocket here, looking like a geek. But uh, yeah, it's an album of cover tunes that I've always wanted to do, and that was one of them. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, so yeah. yeah well, yeah, if we're gonna start off on covers, uh, can we start with some of your influences? I was listening to some stuff on MySpace, and I noticed things from the earlier years, you only go far back as 98 on there, have, it's more of a folk, Americana, down home blues kind of feel and then the later stuff is more of a slick kind of R&B soul kind of feel oh isn't that funny um and I, I was curious as to where the all the influence is always there and they've just come out at different points or if you picked up different influences along the way as the years have gone by all of the above man um any point in time I could uh, I you know I'm happy to do a, a an all folk kind of thing you know I'm I tend to be mixing stuff up at this point. I'll, I'll do something that sounds like an R&B tune, but it'll have a banjo very prevalent in it. Mm -hmm. And I just, um, yeah, I love, I love, you know, I like a good heavy backbeat to what's going on, but I also like the sensibility of an acoustic instrument. So, and it's not, I mean, that's not a new thing when it comes to I mean, black music or whatever you want to call it. You know, I think back to the... Uh, well before you were around the Isley Brothers when I went to college back in the early early mid 70s Isley Brothers came up with the with the Fight the Power album mm -hmm. and um, Ernie Isley who played uh, I, I went to Ernie Isley I think he played all the guitars and drums on the album but with the guitar parts he was playing he played a lot of 12 string guitar on an R&B album and that was really pretty unheard of at the time uh, as far as I was concerned and um, it got this beautiful lush sign and sound and, and, and fight the power had the the had the funk side and then it had this sort of smooth groovy side. The fight the fight the power side uh, had that song. I go to play my music. They say my music's too loud by all this mm, mm, coming down. And it, you know they had the real funky sort of thing going on on that side. And then they had the uh, turn the lights down low side too was uh, three long cuts and two of those had acoustic guitar on them un unabashed unashamedly so um, so this this amalgam of sort of acoustic funky whatever uh, R&B and acoustic stuff is is not it's not young it's been around you know hey man I was doing it I was doing it before John Mayer was doing it I was doing it doing it before uh, uh, um well, Lenny Kravitz is probably about the same age I am, but uh, he went totally to a rock thing, and and all these people got you know they got more far more famous than I ever probably will be, but uh, it's this that that mixing of stuff has been around a long time. 